Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode I will give you the buyer's guide for the newest uh, Giant Propel bike and specifically it's going to be the Giant Propel Advanced Pro Zero DI2 road bike. As usual it's a mouthful of uh, giant bike names. So first thing first, uh, let's answer the question, who is this uh, bike for? So you see this newest version for the 2023 Giant Propel is all about heavily aerodynamically optimized bikes. So everything from the uh, carbon frame and the fork, uh, handlebar, stem, seat post, everything is designed to go as fast as possible in a straight line and to minimize your drag. So if you are in the market for this type of aero road bike, then definitely you should have a look at this newest uh, giant propel uh, platform for the 2023 season. Of course, I have to mention here that uh, retail price of this bike is absolutely eye-watering. It is spicy, it is just wild. It is 8,000 US dollars retail price. We will dive into the specification of this bike and really see what do you get for this money. But just be aware that the bike prices are just going through the roof and this 8,000 US dollars is just eye-watering in my opinion, but it is what it is. And I still believe that when you compare this uh, giant propel with the competition, when it comes to the aero road bikes, this is probably going to be again one of the uh, best uh, values for money out there. Now let's talk about the paint scheme on this bike. As you see, there's only one paint scheme and it's a pure black paint scheme with a hint of silver. It is, of course, a decent paint scheme, but I still believe that considering this retail price of 8,000 US dollars, Giant should have offered at least three paint schemes to choose from. Then at least you would have some choice of changing the looks of the bike. This way you are just stuck with this uh, classical uh, black um, bike. Okay, so now let's dive into the specifications of this bike and really see what do you get for your hard earned money. As always, we can kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is a carbon fiber frame from Giant, their advanced grade composite and the fork is the advanced SL grade composite. Also the fork comes with the full carbon fiber steer. All carbon fiber frames and forks uh, from Giant come with their lifetime warranty, so that's absolutely superb. And usually Giant has a you know huge heritage in making carbon frames and forks, so I'm expecting a top-notch quality with these carbon frames and forks. When you look at the handlebar and the stem on this uh, bike, so the handlebar is the Giant Contact SLR Aero handlebar. So this handlebar, of course, heavily aerodynamically optimized, but interesting thing here is that it is a carbon fiber handlebar from Giant, and it is paired with the stem, which is, which is a Giant Contact SL Aero stem, but this stem is an aluminum piece. So the excellent thing here is that both the handlebar and the stem are separate pieces, Nothing is so proprietary here, easy to replace, easy to adjust your position on the bike. And also, as I said, handlebar is carbon fiber, which is absolutely great and excellent. And the stem is aluminum stem. Again, perfectly fine in my opinion. You won't have any problems with this. When you look at the seat post on this bike, uh, Giant is of course using their Giant Vector carbon fiber seat post top-notch stuff, it will soak up a lot of smaller road bumps and this is what you want from a carbon fiber seat post. Also when you look at the saddle, a Giant is of course using their own saddles which is a Giant Fleet SL saddle. In my opinion Giant recently makes some excellent bike saddles so I hope this one is going to be good for you. If not, saddles are a personal preference so always easy to replace and upgrade. Now let's talk about the group set on this uh, bike because it is definitely one of the highlights on the bike. So shifters, front mech and the rear mech, everything is a Shimano's electronic DI2 group set. In this case it's a Shimano's Ultegra DI2 group set, the latest version, and this is a 12 speed group set, semi-wireless group set, where shifters and the front mech are wirelessly communicating, and then you have a cable connection from the front mech to the rear mech, because in the rear mech you have kind of the brains of the whole system. Absolutely superb electronic group set from Shimano, very reliable, very good, Everything that I've seen and heard from people who are using it is top notch, so absolutely I'm not expecting any problems with this uh, Shimano Zultegra DI2 12 speed group set. When you look at the braking system on the bike, 
you will get the Shimano's Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, these are with the Shimano's RT MT800 rotors. Uh, Shimano rotors from the mountain bike world. Excellent rotors. 160 millimeters at the front and in my opinion a bit disappointing 140 millimeters with on the back. I have no clue why Giant is doing this. Uh, in my opinion it should have been 160 millimeters front and the back because ultimately you want good heat dissipation and good stopping power so saving a few grams on this 140 millimeter rotors at the back totally doesn't make sense for me. This would be the first upgrade I would do if I get this bike destroy this 140 millimeter rotor and then just buy yourself 160 millimeter rotor Shimano's MT800 of course because of their ice freeze ice tech technology and it's gonna work perfectly fine. Now let's look at the cassette uh, crankset and the chain. So the cassette is the Shimano Zultegra 12 speed cassette 1130 cassette so definitely no cutting corners here. The chain again Shimano Zultegra level chain which is the M8100 chain top notch chain and also the crankset Shimano Ultegra 3652. So immediately you see uh, when you look at the crankset 3652 which is paired with 1130 cassette that definitely the whole point of this bike is as to go as fast as possible in a straight line. If you are climbing some steeper mountains then you'll have to you know add 1132 cassette at the back just to get it a bit more easier. I am glad that cassette chain crankset everything is Shimano Ultegra group set so there was no cutting corners here. Also advice for the future uh, when you need to replace the chain in the future definitely keep up with the Shimano's 12 speed chains so is it you know Shimano Ultegra, Shimano Dura Ace or something from the Shimano's mountain bike world it's gonna work perfectly fine. Uh, Bottom bracket on this uh, carbon frame is a press fit, classical Shimano press fit bottom bracket. Again, I wouldn't expect any problems here because uh, Giant knows how to make quality carbon fiber frames. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike because again, one of the secret sources of this bike is the wheel set. So the wheel set you are getting is the Giant SLR 150 wheel set. So this wheel set is a carbon fiber wheel set from Giant absolutely excellent and some of the highlights include that this is a uh, hookless type rims of course uh, tubeless ready and I believe that Giant will prepare the wheels already uh, tubeless ready so including a tubeless tape and a tubeless valve 50 millimeters rim height internally it is 19.4 millimeters and it comes with this wheel set with the Giant own hubs uh, front and the back 12 millimeter through axles and I will mention here that these are the Giant's own low friction hubs with the ratchet system at the back. 24 spokes on this wheel set front and the back. These are Sapim spokes. Again, excellent stuff. And the total weight of the wheel set, I would expect it to be approximately 1,500 grams, which is very competitive in my opinion. I also forgot to mention when I was talking about the carbon frame and the fork that of course internal cable routing all around the cables are totally hidden because uh, you want to minimize the drag and this is a heavily aerodynamically optimized bike. When you look at the tires on this wheel set, a Giant is of course using their own brand Kdex tires. So this is a Kdex, uh, Kdex race tire, tubeless tire of course. This is a 26.5 millimeter tires in the rear, uh, real world as Giant says. So it is a decent air volume. Of course, they are using a 25C tire to again, minimize the kind of uh, drag, go as fast as possible. But the good thing is this uh, carbon frame in the fork can accept all the way up to 30 millimeter tires. So if you require a bit more smoother ride and more air volume, then definitely I would suggest you in the future to upgrade to 28 millimeter tires. As I said, more air volume, much more smoother ride. Uh, Giant doesn't here claim what is the total weight of this bike but if you look at the top level of this uh, Giant Propel bike uh, Giant is claiming that out of the box that bike can be 6.8 kilograms so I would hope that this bike in some normal sizes like 56, 58 or medium large I hope it could be around 7.5 kilograms uh, and then of course when you add the pedals 7.8 kilograms easily for this bike but this is the price you always pay for the aerodynamically optimized uh, road bikes. So what is my advice to you uh, when we consider that the retail price of this giant propel bike is 8,000 US dollars? I have to say that in my opinion you should just consider this bike. I still believe that uh, giant will be 
one of the best if not the best values for money in this category of aero road bikes with this equipment but again eight thousand us dollars is just an eye-watering price and i think you should shortlist this bike and then also see what you can get uh, from the competition i mean it's an excellent bike from giant there's no complaints from me here you know the highlights definitely include the shimano zultegra di2 electronic group set carbon fiber feels from giant and all other uh, carbon fiber components on the bike but eight thousand us dollars just eye-watering price so i think this is gonna be it for today i hope you like what i'm doing and if you do keep on watching keep on liking and as always i will see you soon in the next episode cheers